ma'am. ¿Cómo está, señor? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. Excuse me, I'm collecting for the poor. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am. But we can't ignore the rumors. 
Pass seven cross for a while, eh? Hello. Don't mind that yet. Oh, what do you have for me? Hello, sir. Hey. Hey there. Let me know if you need some help. Oops. Thanks, oh, dear. Very sorry. What's going on with you? What do you have for people for? What I do? Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh, uh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Hmm. Por, por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres. Si eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Y voy a tener que ir. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte? Good to see you again. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. So you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. 
I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Come on, girl. Whole lot of ugly business here. Senor? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Hello, mm. mister. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, 
You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Father. When I was younger, those child Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy's... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother George was calling him. Ladies? Sir? Okay, buddy. Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. I'm back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. 
Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the Silver Tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <clears throat> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor... Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. There. All gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for the smart talk. The well, steam how about that? The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good! Now bring in the boat back here. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, 
I hope you will forgive my European course. In the boat can 